Positional operator dollar sign is most challenging among all array update operators and it is most useful. Dollar sign operator is usually used in conjunction with other operators such as set or unset. And it points dynamically to the certain element of the array. And this position it points to depends on the results of the query that is used in the update method. In fact, dollar sign represents index number of the element in the array 0, 1, 2, and so on. In the first case, we refer to the certain element of the array using simply dot dollar. In the second case, using dot dollar dot field, we refer to the certain field of the nested document that is an element of the array. Let's look at an example. In this example, we are looking for document with cart ID 3 to 5. And cart must contain item 2. So we are looking specifically for this item 2 in the cart array. And then in the set operator, we use a reference to the element of the array using dot dollar sign and assign new value to this element, updated item 2 in this case. So what happens? We are looking for document with cart ID 3 to 5 and item 2 in the cart array. And index of this item 2 in the cart array will be a reference for this dollar sign here. If index of the item 2 in the cart array is 1, for example, then dollar sign will be 1 here. If index of item 2 is 4, for example, then dollar sign will be 4. And again, this pointer to the specific index is dynamic. Let's look at this in action. Let's add first some elements to the cart array of the document with cart ID 561. Let's go to update tab and use just push command for this, push cart and then each array item 1, item 2, item 3, item 4, like this, and execute this, command enter. Let's go back to find, execute query and now we have 4 items in the cart array. Let's go back to update. Now, let's suppose I want to change item 2. I need to add to the query cart and item 2, like this. So I am looking for document with cart ID 561 and I am looking for item 2 element in the cart array. Then I can use, for example, set operator and change value of the item 2. I will delete this line and use this syntax card dot dollar sign and of course quotes because I use dot notation here. And let's just add updated item 2 here, like this. So again, what happens here? I am looking for document with card ID 561 and item 2 must be present in cart array. And if it is present, then dollar sign here will refer to the index of this item 2 in the cart array. That's why I can use this dollar sign operator as a pointer to position of item 2 in the cart array and for example change its value. Let's execute this command enter and let's go back to find. And what is the result? Now I have updated item 2 here. Let's suppose we now want to remove item 3. Let's do this with the same approach. So just find item 3 in the card array and then use unset instead of set. Unset card dot dollar sign remains here and just one. In this example, we will find card ID 561 where cart array has an item 3, then dollar sign will point to position of this item 3 and then we will simply perform unset operation and delete 
this specific item in the array. Let's execute this operation and go back to find. And here it is. Item 3 was replaced with null. In fact, we performed unset operation, but we have not pulled element from the array. That's why size of the array remained unchanged. Let's go back to update. Just leave query as card ID 561, then pull, delete this line, and instead just write card null. Let's perform this operation. Command enter. Go back to find, and now there is no null element. OK, what if this array will contain nested documents instead of simply strings or numbers? And what if you want to change specific nested document in the array? Here, element match plus positional operator will help. Let's talk about this case next. See you in a second.